In the province of Gujarat in the northeast of India lies a semi-arid region dotted with a kind of vegetation and landscape which resembles the savannas of East Africa. Inland, there is a massive 1,883 square kilometers national park, the Gir National Park, which shelters and protects animals which are increasingly under threat from the incessant growth of the human population. This is a reserve for many Indian species, but it owes its status to one species in particular, the most powerful one in the region, the Asian lion. Gear's ecosystem has attained significant stability since the park was first created. Once man's capacity to destroy was halted, its ability to regenerate itself has returned to previous high levels, thereby allowing 32 species of mammals, 26 species of reptiles, and 300 species of birds to thrive. The dry, deciduous forest and the tall grasses of the gentle hills of Gir are the last refuge of the Asian lion, a subspecies which once could be found in many parts of Asia, from southern Greece to India, now only exists here in Gir in the national park, which was specifically created to save it from extinction. These are the lions which King Asurbanipal of Assyria hunted, as immortalized in paintings and reliefs from Nineveh. They became extinct in Israel in the 13th century, in Pakistan in the 18th, and in Arabia and Iraq. They survived in remote isolated areas up until the beginning of this century. Now, they are rare zoological specimens in danger of extinction. Few people take any interest in them, and most people do not even know that they exist. More than 300 Asian lions, enclosed in their small, little-known Indian sanctuary, conserve the genetic makeup inherited from the legendary Assyrian lions. Man has driven them to the verge of extinction, but paradoxically it is thanks to their relation with the indigenous people of this area that the Asian lions have survived in the forest of Gir. All of this region has a monsoon climate which is very hot during the dry season. The temperature ranges from 10 degrees centigrade in winter to 43 degrees in summer. The monsoon rains vary a great deal from year to year, and it is not uncommon for droughts to mark the landscape. When there is little rain, the seven permanent watercourses in gear dry up. To avoid this disaster, those in charge of the park have built four reservoirs in four of the main rivers. These act as a water reserve for the thirsty fauna during the summers in Gear, as well as enabling some fish and large marsh crocodiles to live there. The water does not only maintain the population of wild animals. Every day, the flocks of Maldaris arrive at the banks of the rivers and lakes. These people who make their living rearing livestock were a part of the ecosystem long before the park was created.
The Maldanis live in small settlements surrounded by thorny fences known as nesses. In the past, when the region was rich in pastures and had abundant supplies of water, the Maldaris had large flocks spread out over a wide area. The progressive loss of pasture caused by population increase and the demands of the livestock made the 129 nesses in gear an imminent danger to the wild herbivores and consequently to the ecosystem as a whole. When the park was created, a large number of the 845 Maldari families were rehoused outside the protected area. And today, there are 361 families housed in 54 nesses still remaining inside the park.